What up everybody who talks boxing, comments about boxing, and makes boxing videos. So yesterday I was on Shady Slim's video, I'll put a link in the description, where he was talking about how Amir Khan says he wants to fight Keith Thurman now, now that the Manny Pacquiao fight is off. <clears throat> Real quick about the fight being off. I think it's just a poor choice. I I think that the Amir Khan fight is much better than um, I think the guy's name is Jeff Horn. Uh, well, I will say this. I mean, that doesn't mean that Manny Pacquiao ain't shit. I mean, whatever he does from this point on is not really going to take away from his, what he's accomplished. I mean, he's accomplished what he's accomplished. And, I mean, if it was up to me, he would already be... <clears throat> he would already be retired. That's just the way I see it. But, if fighting is really what he wants to do, then, I mean, he's his own man. So, as far as Jeff Horn being a cherry pick... If you're one of these people who was perfectly fine with Errol Smith, Errol Spence Jr. fighting Jeff Horn, because y'all say that Errol Spence is, uh, a lot of y'all say that Errol Spence is the best fighter at 147. So if he's the best, he just hasn't collected the belts yet, but it was okay for him to fight Jeff Horn, then. An over-the-hill Manny Pacquiao fighting him is not a cherry pick. Just want to throw that out there. Now, the actual meat and potatoes of this video is I was on Shady Slim's uh, video and I left a comment because he was saying, you know, that um, Khan will beat Thurman and or he's saying he will beat Thurman and all this stuff and... Um, I was just stating the fact Garcia in front of his own hometown asked Philly if they would love to watch him beat Keith Thurman's ass and the night of March 4th came and he didn't beat Keith Thurman's ass. He, he walked away with an L. So Shady Slim's reply was Keith Thurman will duck Amir Khan. I guarantee it. I just have to ask this one question. Just this one simple question. Shady Slim, you could either leave a comment or you can make a video. Whichever you think is more appropriate. But I want to know what you're basing that off of. Like, what is it? about Keith Thurman's behavior that you would say that he will duck Amir Khan and that you can guarantee it. First off, why would you guarantee anything that is out of your control? You should never guarantee anything that has to do with another man. I, I never make guarantees unless it's something that I'm in control of. I'm not going to guarantee you that Keith Thurman is going to take the fight. And I'm not going to guarantee you that if he does, that he's going to beat Amir Khan. But if you're going to make such statements, they have to be based off of something. So I, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm just telling you, please explain to me what is it about Keith Thurman that you can guarantee that he's going to duck Amir Khan? Because Keith Thurman is not Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia was the one who refused to give Amir Khan his WBC title. You should be ecstatic that Keith Thurman won. Because there was no chance in hell that Amir Khan was going to get that shot with Danny Garcia. Now that Danny Garcia has lost to Keith Thurman, he doesn't have to worry about that. But what is it about Keith Thurman that you would 
would you would guarantee he will duck Amir Khan. Because I'm not going to tell you some rhetoric. I'm going to bring out some facts. Okay? Amir Khan, a year ago, I could say the same thing about Amir Khan. A year ago. He's only had three fights at welterweight. Only three fights. And that's Colazzo, Devin Alexander, which... He did beat them quite convincingly. And Chris Algieri, who he did not beat convincingly. Since Algieri, he hasn't fought. He's only fought one fight and it wasn't at welterweight. It was against Canelo Alvarez, which he had absolutely no business in the ring with. And just as a quick side note. I seem to remember you picking Khan to win that fight. When it comes to Amir Khan, Shady, don't take this the wrong way because I like you and you're a good dude. I don't have anything against you as a person. But <clears throat> the only thing I'll say is when it comes to Amir Khan, it seems like you kind of touch base with reality. I mean, I'm a Keith Thurman fan through and through, but <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that Keith Thurman dominated Danny Garcia, but I do think that he had a pretty convincing win. I think Keith Thurman kind of hit it, hit the nail on the head, you know, when he was talking about sometimes you're going to come to a fight and you're going to get what you came for, a fight. But sometimes you're going to see a boxing match and that he finessed his way to a win. And I think, I think he's pretty accurate. <clears throat> I don't think it was a close fight. I think it was a pretty convincing win. I, I think the Porter fight was more of a close fight. So back to Amir Khan, though. So Amir Khan, a year ago, from a year ago, has made no progress. If anything, he's only gone backwards because he lost to Canelo. Now, I don't hold that against him, except for the fact that he should have never signed that contract. <clears throat> Virgil Hunter himself said that. He should have never let him sign that contract, but it is what it is. So, as let, let's go ahead and talk about the guarantee that you're making that Keith Thurman will duck Amir Khan. <clears throat> I mean, I would I would think that if you're going to guarantee such a thing, it's based off of the fact that. Keith Thurman has ducked someone in the past or that he's ducked multiple people in the past <clears throat> but I can't think of a single fighter that he ducked I mean I guess you could count Errol Spence Jr. but when that was going down that was really more of a diversion from the fact that Floyd Mayweather would not give Keith Thurman his shot but, I mean, that's really all on the WBA. Apparently, the WBA doesn't mandate their super champion to fight their mandatory. So, <clears throat> you, I guess you really can't hold that against Floyd Mayweather after all. But, that still doesn't change the fact that when that was going down, <clears throat> Spence had... No names, literally. And he still doesn't really have any big names, but I'll tell you what. He definitely beat Algeri convincingly. But how you would say that you guarantee Keith Thurman will, will duck Amir Khan when Amir Khan has blatantly <clears throat> given stipulations to Kel Brook which Kell Brook has fulfilled. Let's be real. 
Kell Brook has fulfilled the requirements that Amir Khan has set. And Amir Khan still refuses to fight him till this day. First it was you have to have a title. Well, he beat Sean Porter. Now he has a title. Well, now you have to defend it a couple times. Well, he's defended it against bullshit opponents. I'll give you that much. But he's defended it, what, three times? So, where's the, where's the Brook fight? Well, Khan refuses to fight him. I, I think that's called a duck. How are you guaranteeing that Keith Thurman... Are you confusing the two? I'll, I'll, I'll help you out, Shady. Amir Khan is the one who ducked Kell Brook, not... <laughs> <laughs> Not Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is the one with the ponytail. He's the one who's actually fighting Sean Porter and beating Danny Garcia. Those are just facts. I'm not trying to be hard on you, but th those are just facts. Keith Thurman beat Danny Garcia. Amir Khan didn't. He lost. Now, I'm not going to sit here and guarantee Keith Thurman because I don't make guarantees on other men but I'm going to tell you this much this is what I notice and this is why I say Keith Thurman beats Amir Khan you're, you're more than welcome to tell me why Amir Khan beats Keith Thurman I, I, I'm genuinely interested in hearing what you have to say when it comes to that but here's why I say that Keith Thurman wins take a look at the knockout losses by Amir Khan. A except for Canelo. You don't really have to look at the Canelo one, but look at when he lost to Danny Garcia and look at when he lost to um, British Prescott. Both of those fights, Amir Khan got hit by a big shot. When Amir Khan gets hit by a big shot, he doesn't know how to react in the moment. He doesn't really have the survival skills. As long as everything is going according to plan, Amir Khan is A-OK. -okay. He will he will get the victory. He ain't knocking him out, but he's getting the victory. But as soon as he gets staggered, as soon as he gets hit with something big, he loses function. He he becomes unfunctionable. Like he just doesn't know what to do. It happened against Bradis Prescott. Because after getting knocked down, instead of trying to survive the rest of the round, try to get his bearings back. He went right back in there and got knocked clean out. Same thing with Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia knocked him down. And what did Amir Khan do? He went right back in there and got knocked out. Now let's talk about the Algeria fight real quick. Algeria is not a big puncher and he was able to catch Amir Khan. Pretty good. Now we take a look at what Robert Guerrero said about Danny Garcia's power and Keith Thurman's power. He said that Keith Thurman's jabs hurt more Danny Garcia's hard shots, like his hooks. Now, Keith Thurman is a better athlete and has more ability than Chris Algieri. So that means he should be able to catch Amir Khan better than Algieri did. 
Now, if Danny Garcia knocked out Amir Khan, and if what Robert Guerrero said is true about Keith Thurman's power, and we know that Keith Thurman is a better boxer than Chris Algieri, if these two men were to step foot in the ring, what do you think is going to happen? Don't tell me, oh, he has fast hands. Oh, no, we're talking about facts. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing evidence to the table. I don't just want to hear things that sound good. This is actual evidence. You can go on YouTube and look up these fights and look up these interviews. I'm not making this shit up. What do you think is going to happen? So, Shady, I'm looking forward to your response. Um, at the end of the day, you're good by me. You're a cool dude. Uh, I just think that you tend to lose touch with reality when it comes to Amir Khan. But anyways, anybody else, y'all, feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Is there something that I'm missing here? Because I'm not... I'm not closed-minded i'm open to the possibility that i'm wrong but i do want some kind of basis you know it, i'm not saying that khan has no chance i'm just saying those are the reasons why i think keith thurman would win but y'all let me know what y'all think y'all have a wonderful and blessed day peace so, i am so authentic I'm so authentic, they try to figure me out, but this is not a gimmick. Hi, hip hop, don't act like you don't know me. What? We got the same mama, don't you try to disown me. I'm just a mixed breed, call me a day walker. Cause I walk in the sun, but at night I'm a stalker. If you looking for blood, come run in my lane. The fame never runs dry, there's plenty of it, man. I speak in ancient language, they don't understand. It's called the truth, I break it down, they try to reprimand me Miss Lauren, she spoke it, they try to revoke her They drove her crazy like Morgan Freeman did to Miss Daisy I am not insane